Hello and welcome to St Michael's Hill. Uh, this is going to be the uh, July layout update. Um, I hope you've all had a good month. Um, it's certainly been a productive one for me. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about what I've done this month um, and show you a couple of bits, uh, most of which has uh, had videos made for it, but uh, if you haven't seen those and uh, watched the monthly updates only, then I'll uh, give you a quick update. I'm going to show you some new stock that I've picked up and uh, also talk about uh, a couple of uh, things that I've picked up as well to help me move forward with the project. So um, I think the biggest thing that uh, has happened this month is uh, the work on the fiddle yard, which I'll show you in a minute, and also the work on the uh, Class 60 at the back there. So um, this is a, a Lima model um, that I basically uh, added a DCC chip to, um, as well as a, a driver. Um, some lighting and uh, obviously a bit of weathering as well so um, if you want to see more about how that was done then uh, I'll uh, link to the uh, video that uh, goes through all that uh, up, up at the i button now and also in the description below it's, uh, it's a fairly interesting project and I'm pretty pleased with the results um, as you can see it, it really kind of looks the part now so uh, yeah really really pleased with that one so uh, yeah, watch the video uh, if you have been uh, interested in that I kind of think it stands now alongside kind of this Backman 47 and uh, and looks the part so that's pretty much all you can ask for from kind of the older models is that they don't stand out as old and kind of fit in well with the uh, with the layout so yeah I'm not gonna probably run it too much I think with uh, the Lima models they kind of generally do a bit better with high speed running so once the new layout's up and running um it's certainly going to see a lot more of her but uh, on this small layout it's uh, just she doesn't run quite as well as the back one and uh, uh, dapple uh, locos at uh, slow speed so you're probably not going to see too much of her until that point but uh, certainly on the new layout you're going to see a lot of her um so yeah that's uh, that's one of the big things i've been doing this month Probably the biggest thing that's happened this month is the uh, continuation of the fiddle yard build. Um, it's kind of taking on a bit of a life of its own in that it's it's almost a scene now. I decided that uh, I would tackle the uh, hard standing and the track. So I'm pretty sure at the end of the uh, last or the June update, I basically just kind of built it and was looking at laying track and all that sort of stuff. So um, since then, I've kind of weathered it all, uh, weathered some of it, sorry. Um, these sections are kind of partly finished as you can see I'm kind of working on uh, this still um, this end is a lot more finished this is what I want it to look like uh, throughout and I'm very happy with this end of the track uh, but the points and uh, these two spurs are still to be kind of uh, finished on that front the other major thing I've been doing is kind of the hard standing so um, again there's a massive uh, video on this one so if you're interested to know how I came up with these uh, different hard standings then uh, again I'll put it in the eye button now but uh, very kind of uh, kind of a lot of detail has gone into how I've done that in those videos but generally I've kind of uh, stuck with the uh, scale model scenery uh, kind of uh, hard standing kit but also I've done some of my own kind of scratch building um, with various materials and I kind of decided at the end of that to just finish off the scene a little bit I'd uh, add a railing and, and basically ballast in between them and kind of someone suggested that um, this end looks like maybe there used to be points that ran maybe out outside of the tunnel here and again here so what I might end up doing is actually just finishing off that as a, maybe it was a scene where it was disconnected um, I could put in kind of what looks like kind of old track and things like that so and and if when I've done that I kind of uh, feel like a bit of foliage or whatever might actually create a little diorama of its own as well as being a fiddle yard so it's kind of a, a project that's evolved somewhat um, it was initially meant to be somewhere that I can just kind of practice some skills and that's definitely kind of uh, what's been done but there's no reason why I couldn't practice a few more and, and basically almost finish this off uh, as we go. I'm not going to concentrate on it by any means but you know I will probably look to do something with kind of an old abandoned uh, line um, on the new layout so uh, yeah it might be a nice way to kind of practice that a little bit um, maybe put uh, 
lots of kind of sleepers down that don't have rails or something along those lines. Um, and then, yeah, in these sections, maybe practice a little bit more with uh, static grass. I've never been too happy with the static grass that's on here. Um, it just doesn't quite have the right look, in my opinion. But uh, so maybe it's a good idea to kind of try out some more on this side and, and get it looking a bit more uh, of a higher quality. So that's maybe something I'll end up doing over the next weeks whilst I'm still planning the new layout. Um, a little bit of an update on that, I suppose, is that uh, it is still definitely happening. Um, I'm kind of at the stage where I'm just kind of planning and research, really. A lot of that is around uh, kind of building techniques and uh, baseboards and things like that. Um, best places to kind of source uh, materials from. But I'm kind of getting to a point now where I'm hopefully about to kind of uh, place that order. Um, as well, it's obviously a, a period at uh, a fairly big expense, uh, obviously getting baseboards and track and all that sort of stuff together. So it's just about making sure that I've got the money to take on the next stage and, and not leave myself short in any other areas of life. So uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely coming and hopefully soon I'll be... Uh, releasing kind of a video around the planning and what the uh, layout's actually going to be but yeah like i said if you want to see a little bit more about how i came up with this hard standing or the track uh, there's videos in the last month that will kind of show you a little bit more about that so the other thing that's been uh, taking my time this month is the uh, depot build so this is the um, kit from railway laser lines that uh, i picked up um, Basically a lot of this uh, month has been kind of prepping things, so kind of priming the uh, the hard standing and the walls and uh, all this sort of stuff. So when, when this came, this is all just uh, wood uh, coloured, as you can see here, this is a, a section that hasn't needed priming. So I've uh, primed all the parts and I've started to uh, get the construction going together. Um, I'm probably not going to do uh, a full video on this, um, I will probably... Uh, to show you as I go um, just because it's something I kind of want to get right and it's a fairly slow process and I believe that there's another youtuber who is uh, putting together a video of this but I'll certainly keep you up to date on the progress of the uh, the depot build and I think once it's done I'll uh, do a bit of a review and uh, and see how it goes but so far I'm massively impressed with it all um, it's very kind of fiddly and intricate like all these parts are very very thin the uh, the laser cutting is incredible what it can do really he's uh, up by no means of the smallest parts either so um, yeah, very fiddly but uh, it goes together very well um, yeah very happy one thing I've been using to help a bit with the build is these uh, right angles from um, David at Strathpepper Junction now he's done a video on these um, they were kind of a very very good idea um, just splits into two parts and they're magnetic but they're 3D printed, which is, is really great. I got in touch with him about whether I could pick some up um, as I knew he was uh, kind of out of action for a while, but uh, he basically said, look, it probably wouldn't be suitable for the purpose of uh, this kind of laser cut wood. It might be a little bit thick. So he actually uh, said he was developing some other kind of slightly stronger ones um, and would send a few down for me to test. Um, really, really pleased with them. Like uh, they've got a lot more kind of strength, will easily hold this uh, uh, laser cut wood together, um, and it's kind of what's going to allow me to make sure that the uh, the building's all straight. So I've used them on the uh, corners here. I'm very, very happy with kind of how they are and uh, perfect 90 degree angles. So um, I'm sure to be using them a, a lot more. It's going to be really useful for things like scratch building in the future as well. So just make sure all those angles are are correct. So. Massive thank you to David at Strathpepper. Um, I'm sure at some point, if uh, everyone else is kind of giving him similar feedback, he'll make these available as well, either as a, I guess, a ready-made product or as a, something you can uh, print yourself. Um, so yeah, massive thanks to David. In terms of stock, there's a, a couple of new additions to the layout. Both are BRA steel wagons in EWS livery. Um, these are backland wagons and uh, have been weathered um, to a kind of uh, fairly kind of dusty kind of look but uh, nothing too heavy. I picked both of these up from the uh, Panath Model Railway show that I attended earlier in the month. Um, I think the ticket on them was £15 each and I picked them up for uh, £25 for the pair so really really pleased with that. There's a lot of detail on these wagons um, as you can see there's uh, lots and lots of printed detail and in addition 
um, certainly a lot of kind of detail on the uh, the hoods of these wagons. In real life, these uh, fold back, but it's not like the uh, Dapple recent release that actually uh, folds back. They're uh, fixed in position, which is fine because this is how they uh, how they run, as far as I uh, can see. I've never ever seen them. Uh, run in any other way so that's uh, that's quite good if you're interested in these wagons um, next week's video I'm probably gonna look to include them in some way uh, in something that I'm doing so uh, if you want to know more about these wagons tune in next week and uh, I'll give you a far more detailed look at them but uh, yeah very very happy with these as a purchase uh, something that I've wanted for a while and it was great to pick them up uh, for that price at the show I probably will look to get a few more and uh, probably some other steel wagons in the future to build a, a full train. So I'll be uh, keeping my eye out for a few more of these. So the other purchase I've made this month is not uh, stock related, but uh, certainly will help with stock. Um, it is basically a uh, five litres of um, isopropanol alcohol. Um, I picked this up off Amazon, I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, it kind of seems mad that you can kind of buy a, a massive vat of flammable liquid from Amazon, but uh, you can. Um, but basically what I'm going to use this for is for stripping paint. So. There's various projects that I've kind of had on the go, uh, including the HST project um, and a few other things that basically needed uh, some of this stuff, just kind of strip paint and uh, take it back to bare plastic before I prime and repaint everything. So um, this should allow me to uh, start on that uh, in the next month. So uh, yeah, hopefully we'll uh, be able to finish off the, that HST project, get it all uh, finished and uh, get it ready for the layout. And uh, in addition, there's a couple of other things that I'm going to be uh, stripping down uh, and painting that uh, I haven't necessarily been uh, making videos about, but uh, you'll see the full finished results fairly soon. I'm lucky enough that uh, as the layout is in the garage, the uh, summer temperatures aren't too extreme. I know a lot of my fellow modellers uh, who've got loft layouts find it really, really hard to model over these uh, summer months, but I'm lucky in that that's not necessarily a problem for me. Um, I am heading away on holiday for a week, so that's certainly going to uh, stop the modelling for a, a while, but uh, don't worry, I will be keeping uh, up to date with uh, a weekly video. Um, over the next sort of month or so, I suppose the uh, things that I'm looking to achieve are um, I'm going to try and paint some figures, so uh, there might well be a video showing you how I go about that. It's not something that I've done before, so it's uh, it could be a kind of a bit of an experiment in terms of how the best way to kind of do that is. Um, I'm going to be using the IPA to strip down uh, some locos to get ready for a respray, so I'll hopefully bring you a video at some point about how I go about that, and uh, hopefully the results will be okay. Um, I'm going to be doing a little bit more work on uh, various other parts of the, the new layout as well, so hopefully by the end of August I will have finished uh, all the planning and research stages and I'll be able to uh, share a little bit more of that with you uh, and, and maybe even have uh, the uh, material for the baseboards ordered as well. Next week I'm going to be bringing you a, a video about wagons, um, looking at a lot of the ones that I have on St Michael's Hill. Uh, doing a little review I suppose of each one and, and showing you what ones I like and what ones I think you know probably could uh, do a little bit better with um, and that'll be partly down to showing you what I've done to them and, and what I haven't so um, that that should be next week's video um, until then I'm going to leave you now with uh, a bit more of an extended running session than usual um, it's something that's often requested really uh, and I definitely don't mind doing it, it's a lot of fun to play trains, I, uh, but I always worry that uh, with the uh, kind of fairly limited stock that I have and obviously a very limited space that that uh, is a little bit more difficult. I think now I, uh, I've got this area as well, um, once this gets finished off maybe it'll be 
a bit easier to provide a kind of a few more uh, running shots but um, yeah as long as you guys are interested in seeing uh, the limited stock that I have running on the limited space I have I'll, uh, I'll continue to give you uh, running shots and uh, running sessions. So thank you very much for joining me today on St Michael's Hill and I will see you uh, very soon. Thank you and uh, goodbye. Thank you, as always, for joining me today on St Michael's Hill. If you would like to see more, check out the video in the top left-hand corner. This week's layout shout-out goes to Walter Woods Model Railway, a brand new channel from Pete, uh, based in the Swindon area. Check it out by clicking the icon in the bottom right-hand corner and make sure you subscribe. Thanks.